Hello guys, making magic here, and I'm back with another Unity 3D tutorial. So yeah, I've been absent for a while. Uh, I didn't have time and power to do all the stuff because school year is uh, pointing to an end, and I have to work that much harder. But today I have another Unity 3D tutorial, and it's about how to create a magnetic force that is applied to ob objects, and then those objects. Uh, are attracted by the magnet or an object that you want to. So let me just show how it looks. So we have an object that will be attracted by this magnet in our Unity project. So uh, all I have to do is to apply this object that is our magnet to the magnetic field script that I have applied to this cube or uh, an iron cube, uh, whatever you want. And I'll just show you how it looks. If I hit play, the cube is attracted by the magnet. If I lift up the magnet, oh sorry, the magnet, it will be still applied, the force will be applied to this cube. But if I increase the force that uh, this uh, cube has between the magnet, it will, the magnet will have a strong magnetic field so that cube and it will the magnetic the cube will follow our magnet let me just see if it goes through no but as you can see it doesn't go through it's very useful script I think you can use it for many things so yeah let me show you how it's done uh, first we're gonna do I'll just delete the scene I mean the magnet and the cube and all I have left is this plane, to create a plane, just game object, 3D object and plane. And I have direction light, direction light, game object, light, direction light, and main camera, game object, camera. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a 3D object cube. This force will be applied to, this will be our block of iron. It so you can add a material to it, or if you don't want to, just create a material, material, and I'll just add a material, simple black. That's not black, but I guess. Okay, if we have any, <laughs> okay, that looks kind of like iron, I guess, but that, anything else. Uh, the next thing we're going to create is we're gonna add a rigid body, so a component. Rigid body. Yes, here it is. So the mass is how much our cube weights in this uh, simulation. So we're gonna put this a bit down to 0 0.2, I guess, a bit, bit lighter. Don't mess with other things. We don't need any other things for this tutorial. So next thing we're gonna add, we're gonna add this script. So it's in my assets and it's called magnetic field. So let me just quickly open it up for you. To explain it basically very easy script it's uh, and it's quite uh, let's say quite effective so variable magnet is the object that will attract that our object so and the variable force factor is float in the deal so then is our uh, is the factor how much uh, gravity force will be applied to the cube between the between the magnet and the cube. So in the function update, so that means it will be f uh, updated every frame. So it will be called every frame. Uh, this object gets component rigid body. That means that our uh, object needs a component rigid body which we are already applied. So then add force. That means that we'll be adding a rigid force to our rigid body, and that means that this force will be applied to our Transfer, uh, transfer of the position. That means that it will be applied. This is like a basic enemy AI script. It will follow around our cube, but it will be applied, uh, and the force will be applied to it. So it, it's like, it's like it would, it will follow our, like follow our enemy, and also it will apply the force. So it's, it's like, I don't know how to tell you. It will be multiplied by the force, something like that, but not quite it. And then it will be multiplied by our force factor over here, 
so that means uh, how much fast it will follow our cube. It's actually very basic and it's very understandable, but I'm not good at explaining. So, and then it will be again multiplied by the time dot smooth data time that is just only two. So we'll smoothen our uh, our how our cube will follow the magnet. We'll just smooth it so it will look a bit nicer, smoother. Okay, so that's it. We can close that down and we can create the magnet. So. Um, we can increase, we'll be increasing that force how it will uh, turn out, but now we just have to uh, put our magnet in. This is just the basic model I created in Blender. I won't be including it in the description because it's very easy to make. Where's that shit? Where's that shit? Okay, as you can see, it's made out of two parts. Very easy to make. If you want me, I can show you how, show you how to make one. But it's, yeah, you can you can find out for yourself how to make it because it's very easy. So I'll just put it down, and I will apply a bit nicer material on the other part so it look a bit more like a magnet. Okay, so that's that's it. You know, just darken it a bit. Okay, that's cool. And we'll just put it a bit down and of course resize it. You can use another cube if you want, I'll just use a magnet because it looks a bit better. And if you, you're using model from Blender, just go to magnet model and go to model here and generate colliders and then hit apply. So it uh, will be a solid object. And now what we have to do is go to our cube and uh, drag our magnet to a magnet game object here, space over here. And that's it. And if I hit play, it will be attracted by the magnet, the cube will be attracted by the magnet. And if I increase uh, the force over here, force factor, I'll just increase it, and then uh, lift magnet a bit up, it will follow our magnet. And yeah, this is a basic magnetic field, this is how to make a basic magnetic field. Ooh. Yes! What is it? Oh, it's here. Papa. Oh, and as you can see, it doesn't need colliders. So, yeah, it's quite simple and effective script to make. I'll include the link in the description. And, yeah, thank you for, for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.